That was pretty chaotic. I mean, it was frightening. It was, as you would imagine, anybody who stands right in front of a, a train crash, you know, it's pretty horrifying. Did you see it as people, well? Yeah, I mean, most people could walk out by themselves or in the city? Well, as far as the entire train is concerned, yes. Most walked out on their own power. The first half of the first car took the most damage. That's where the injuries, possible fatalities, I hope not, I don't know. And, you're, and usually how many people will you, on a regular day, how many people could be in one of those cars? Uh, during the rush hour, at this time of the day, it could be an approximately of 80, possibly less depending on where it's coming from, Could but it, it is rush hour. in the aisles and stuff usually? Like, no, it's... Transfer, not in seats? No, it's never really that crowded to where there's a, ne a need to stand in the in the, um, in the aisles or vestibules. How many cars are I don't... And it, six, seven, okay. more, more than likely. In your, in your experience, the people in that uh, uh, carriage, uh, given the speed of the train, they should be seriously injured? What, what's your estimate about the damage? Well, given anyone who can look at the damage to the first half of that first car doesn't have to be a professional to know that there's some serious injuries going on. How many can you go ahead and describe what you saw? The first the car, obviously, but is there damage in the second car? They haven't been inspected yet, but they're not. Uh, um, they're, they're maybe. From what I saw, no. But there could be some underbody structural damage, but, you know, nothing, nothing nearly as severe as the first car. So where did the front car actually end up? Did it go over the end of the bumper onto another level within the train station? No, it's basically the same level. It went up and over the bumper block, through the depot, which is a concourse for people to walk to the path, to the ferry, and came to rest at the wall by the waiting room. So in the